Okay, everybody, welcome back to my 2021 tour. This will be my gingerbread kitchen and dining room. Real life there. Haven't gotten the totes put away yet. Oh, I, did, I made this um, with a crate from the Dollar Tree. Isn't that cute? I've seen that idea as well on YouTube. I'm so thankful for all of the um, folks out there that do crafts and show them and give us many ideas, you know. This little set of ornaments here came from Amazon. There was like eight of them in the package for probably less than $10, I think. Well, they were really cute. This is the top of the hutch. And here is inside the hutch. A little mini gingerbread village here on both sides. Gingerbread tree. Over here on this side. This little gingerbread were from uh, QVC last year. That peppermint plate was from Hobby Lobby this year. And the tree there is a, one of our craft trees from this year that we did from our crafts. I'm doing a village, gingerbread village sign with all those houses there, house ornaments there. And my beautiful gingerbread tree here. New ornament there. And where's the other one? Right there's the other new one. And I made this one here. But it's so pretty. In the box. It just fits right in perfectly in the box. And, and this white tree goes to a friend of mine. I forgot to move it out of the picture. <laughs> move it off the built-in before I started the tour. This uh, The red baking dish there came from um, Dollar General this year, $5. I made the little gingerbread bakery sign there. When you decorate and do your vignettes, do you all think, oh, that's so, this is, this is my favorite. This is the favorite way I've done it. I feel like I say, think that to myself every year, you know, but this, this year is definitely is um, one of my favorites, how it, how everything came out. And here is my tablescape. We keep these little candy bowls on the table. And it's like after we eat dinner, you know, for our dessert, you know, just a little, little something sweet after we eat. We just grab a little couple pieces of chocolate or something. And you've had dessert. This little couple is so cute, too. I have been um, collecting gingerbread um since 2008 so i have a lot of stuff and this over here is the uh, waiting for me to make myself a cup of coffee this morning i haven't i haven't made a coffee yet and here is my gingerbread girl this is the one my dad cut out isn't she sweet and i painted her and she's on a stand so sweet 
Love it. Love it. I put it right there by the sink, you know, that I can see her while I'm like doing dishes or cleaning up or something or other, you know. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, y'all. I'm going to paint some more of these. I painted those ones last year, and I got another package of them, so I'm going to paint a few more this year. Um, this little cookbook thing, little gingerbread ornament, and this one is another one from a sweet subscriber, and she made these little cupcake things. So cute, so crafty. Thank you, Carmela. That was so sweet. I love them. And my little village here in the corner in the jars. And this right here, super cute little sweetie. Um, my dad cut that out for me and I painted it here just the other day. I did a red one for me. And this pink one here for my mom. She loves shabby chic stuff, so I did her pink with the pink roses on it. I've got to give it to her. Anyway, <clears throat> I made that sign several years ago. Christmas calories don't count. And the shelf above the doorway going out to my out to the outside over here in this corner. Shoot, I forgot to turn the light on. Got this, of course, the towel from Walmart. This bakery house came from Hobby Lobby this year. I've seen that a lot in a lot of videos. The sign I made this year. He's new from at home. And the baker there and there are ornaments that I just um, glued into these little signs. It's really cute. And this is a Temptations Bowl from QVC many, 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 many years ago my mother-in-law gave to me. So I did this tray, this little baker's tray here. She's ready with her flower. And my mom gave me the little bowl with the ginger babies in it. They're so cute. see shadow these are my grandmother's pie plates that we had I had stuck in a tote and they had kind of gotten lost in the attic and we found them this year thank goodness and um, anyway this is another one of these um, prints from jane.com just that one's 11 by 14 and the other ones in there are 10, 8 by 10 they're just so pretty so pretty and I got this placemat this year. I think that I think I grabbed that at Big Lots, I want to think. And right here. This is Mr. and Mrs. Baker and this is their children in the in the little tub there. And two of their twins and then the the older sibling there in the background. <laughs> oh, that was cute. <clears throat> so looking around here, this is you know, the foyer. And I have this bucket of greenery. There's a candle stand there. Um, we'll paint around the room again. Well, I hope you guys have a merry, merry Christmas and do wonderful, fun things with your family and just create all kinds of great memories, bake cookies with your kids, even though it makes a mess. They're just such sweet, precious memories. And I guess I'm just being really nostalgic this, this year. My daughter is about to get engaged and, you know, it's going to be a whole different, you know, just it's a whole different time of my life. You know, it's, you know, she'd rather be with her fella than, you know, being out with mom. And now it's like, you know, what am I going to do with myself? <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll be empty nesters and, um, just, you know, we look forward to, uh, the wedding, planning the wedding and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, make memories with your precious babies 
while you can. Merry Christmas.